So this is a day in the life of Malika at dialysis. I wanted to kind of show you the whole day and how it goes from start to finish. So basically this is me. What happens in the morning? I come and I get dropped off at my center. I'm feeling pretty decent, you know, besides the stomach issues that I had this morning. You can see I'm standing outside of the center. There are other people who are getting out. Usually the time that I get here is 12 p.m. to be on the machine at 12.20. So I wanted to show you what happens in the day um, and the life of me and dialysis. So this is part one. Stay tuned. I'm going in. Usually after this, I just go in. And you know how it is. You go into the hallway. And people start talking to you and sometimes oh, wow. I do and sometimes I don't. Oh yeah, that's a lot. Okay, so clip two. So this is part two. So usually I come in and um, I got my mask down and yeah, I look like, like this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I just wear something comfortable, my lounge pajamas. I used to come and get all dressed up. I mean, not dressed up, but still wear, you know, what I would wear outside and I would come and you know I did that for a couple of years and sometimes I do that in the summer you know if I'm going somewhere after but I just come in and I wait to be called and then they call me and then it's a whole nother process to put you on the machine so I will be back with that and we can continue you can see how my whole transition is from the time we come till the time I leave okay so I'm here, and this is part three. I'm hooked up. You can see right here, this is the machine trigger warning in case anybody is afraid of blood or whatever. I flip the camera over. But this is the machine that's closest to me. This is the little needle thing right here. And this is my arm. So you can see I'm all hooked up. I'm inside of a chair. You see? And I'm putting my mask back on. Because, you know, we still in the mask mandate. And I kind of sit here. There's a TV. Let me show you. Uh-oh, that was taking a picture. I don't know what I did. <laughs> Maybe the camera, sometimes the camera flips, sometimes it don't. But um, people watch TV here and um, do different stuff like that. Let me see if I can show you. I don't want to show you, you know, people as for people but there's another dialysis machine you know just to protect their privacy but i usually just work i work on my uh phone i used to bring my computer in but i work on my phone and um i just do that and sometimes i feel like that sometimes i don't you know i bring like like you see little crackers or you know a little snack something like that i'm just trying to show you how it really goes down so you can see how i'm gonna look when i get done but this process, you see how I look through the process, what's going on through the process, how it is when I come to the process, and just other various stuff that happens during dialysis. So I'll be back, okay? This is just a unit, you know, nothing fancy. It's just going through basically showing you, you know, pieces of the unit and where the dialysis uh, machine is that's closer to me. Everything is very clean in here. <clears throat> it's very sterile in here, you know, and I'm comfortable as much as I can be for the capacity, you know, that I'm in since I'm in here for like uh, maybe four to five hours some days. So this is just showing you, this is a smaller unit that I attend. But they have a lot of bigger units that I've also, you know, been in. Anyway, it's a lot of bigger units that I have been in since the 10 years that I have been on dialysis. Make sure you go back and you check out my video when I give an update. And I just talked about the 10 years that I've been on dialysis. This is just my arm. These are 16-inch needles that go into my arm to be able to facilitate. Okay, I got about two 
four hours. I got about two more hours, and I'm starting not to feel good. So I start getting this headache. Been here and just around here, and I just want to go home. Okay, see so how I'm not juice. It's kind of how it is. It's like a balloon. You start with a lot of energy, and then just by the time it's done, you're completely wiped out. But I'm just having a lot of, you know, with the fluid shifts in my head. My head starts hurting. I just feel like I got run over by a truck. I'm hungry as hell. I want to go home, but I wanted to really show y'all because people have some kind of weird assumption that you go on a dialysis and, oh, don't you feel better? Like, it's supposed to make you feel better. I don't know where they heard that or dreamed that or thought about that, but it's a complete and total lie. That's not how this thing works. Okay, we done. So basically, I'm all done. I'm back outside and Today, the worst symptom I had, I had some cramps in my back and body aches. But the worst symptoms I have today is my head hurting. So, I'm just out, just breathing in some oxygen. And um, I'm going to Uber home, but it's, like, so expensive. Sometimes, you know how Uber is. Like, it goes up at different times and stuff like that. So, now is one of the high times. And I'm right next door to a, I forget what it's called, Long, Longhorn, Longhorn Steakhouse. Oh, I need some air. Longhorn Steakhouse. And I'm probably going to go over there, get soup and salad, and just wait it out. Although I got on, like, kind of slippers, and I don't really do that. Slipper things, they look like slippers, I think. They could pass for shoes. And um, that's what I'm going to do. So... I just wanted to show you the difference, you know, like a day, how it be, like you can go and look a certain way and then some days I come out and I'm like looking so disfigured, you know, and just show you a day in the life of Malika at dialysis, this was a, a bad, bad day, you know, but it was okay, so, you know, generally I'm going to walk over here now, I was waiting for this man to leave because he's so damn nosy. But generally, um, what happens is, um, you know, somebody would be like, oh, well, how you feeling? You know, and I'd be wanting to say all kinds of things. Or, how the hell you think? Or, I don't feel good. Or, you know, whatever. But, you know, it's like when you try to share your feelings and tell people how you feel, they always want to tell you how you feel. Like, don't say that. Or, you got to think positive. Or, talk positive. Or, like, I know all of those things, but you ask me how I'm feeling, how I'm doing, and I'm trying to communicate with you my real feelings, right? So, those are some of the things I'm just really anxious to talk about and get on here and just share with the community so that they can know it's a beautiful day today. So, I feel really good. This is not really good, but this is the best part where I know that it's over, and that I'm going home and I just usually go home and I be trying to like, oh, I'm just not going to do nothing. I'm just going to go home today and relax. But there's always something. And then, you know, I got my beautiful grandbabies, but one of them that lives with me. So I look forward to seeing her when she gets home from school. She be real, real fresh. <laughs> and then she falls out. And some days I don't have the strength, you know, to do it. I really like out of strength. And um, so, yeah. So, anyway, I'm going to go, y'all. Maybe I'll just take y'all to the long haul with me. This is going to be a long video if I do that. I'm almost there. But anyway, um, I love y'all. Bye. Thanks for watching. Okay, I lied. I'm back. Anyway, I made it over here. That's the glare. Made it over here down to the Longhorn. See? <clears throat> I'm just sitting by myself. Sometimes this is the best thing you could do. I could give you so many messages about self-love, self-care.
this time, which is, uh, I didn't know I would be doing this today, but I'm grateful. I was thinking, walking over here, I'm just grateful for another moment, and I'm so glad I don't look like what I've been through. I've been through a lot, a hell of a lot. That's why I'm talking about it now, so that it gets out and doesn't stay in. I look like Princess Leia today, right? With the two cup. <laughs> it's okay, tomorrow is um, hair day. Get my hair done tomorrow. So, anyway, yeah, I'm just grateful for another day. And I'm going to enjoy this time with myself. And um, I got some good videos I want to do with y'all. Um, this week, I'm going to be doing one on one. Um, I'll just let you wait and see. But anyway, thank y'all so much for tuning in, everybody who's subscribing. Who's listening and all that good stuff. Just Bye. Say, okay. okay. So basically, this is what happens. I've been here all of probably 15 minutes, had all this beautiful food, and then it just hit me like I just don't feel good. Like, look at this. I got this beautiful drink. <laughs> and then a whole other one. Look. Look. Soup, salad, bread, you know, the whole thing. And it's just what happens. This is your life. You have to temper it around these illnesses and around this dialysis. And people don't understand. Like, you could be feeling fine, then not fine. So, I'm ready to go home. I'm going to get out of here. The waitress is taking too long. Here she comes, y'all. All right. Bye. Finally made it home. My whole body is under. Finally made it home. My whole body is under duress. This is what I usually do. So here's my medicine bag. And I, let me just put it right here. Oh, I can't do it like that. Oh my gosh. I thought that I would be able to show y'all. It's weird. Okay. Let's get some on there. All right. Look, I don't have no video person helping me do shit. So, it's this one, which is for my heart. This one, which is for my lungs. Then I have another one for blood pressure. And then this is the one I need, which is the pain one. And my head is hurting, and I take this. If my stomach is hurting, then I take this. This is something I take with food to take out the stuff that's in the food. It's just like so much bullshit. But this is part of the process. So, bye. I know this video is long, y'all. But I wanted to show y'all what happens in a whole day. So, maybe you would consider that the next time you would think I could be part of a project or I could help you. Why isn't she calling me? Why isn't she getting back to me? You know, all of these things. Like, my whole life is consumed. And then <clears throat> I recover. And then I do it all over again. So, when I say dialysis is hell, it really is hell. And this was a not-so-bad day, you know? Don't worry. We'll have plenty of those as I'm documenting my life. This is therapeutic for me. Just playing with my hair. It's like somebody playing with your hair saying, it's going to be okay, Malika. And since I don't have anyone to do it, I have to do it for myself. To love myself and run myself, encourage myself, tell myself, it's going to be okay. <laughs>